DP9 supports retina displays now, which just gives you a clearer, sharper image and is easier on your eyes to work with. The spectral display is really great for when I'm editing audio and I'm going in now I'm seeing not only just the dynamics of the sound to go, oh, that's a kick drum, but it's really kind of showing frequency-wise what's going on, which a lot of times there might be some high strange noise that I didn't want in there and I can see where that is and I can eliminate that. With spectral display I'm able to view my waveform in a way that I couldn't before. I can actually see its frequency content as I work with it. The new MIDI Learn feature helps me consolidate my control workflow. It's nice to be able to control all these third-party plugins and VIs, but know that everything is being controlled by DP. DP9's new MIDI Learn feature is really great because it's now native in the sequencer itself, so I don't have to rely on a plugin to support MIDI Learn or not. And now with the new MIDI Mute feature, I can mute notes without having to delete them or set their velocity to one, which I had done many times. Now you can just mute them while leaving them there and you can try things and mute and unmute and that's, I, I love that, that's, that's awesome. The new Automation Lanes feature in DP9 is very, very powerful. It allows me to see everything in one glance, but specifically reach for the one thing I want to target. One of my favorite new features in DP9 is the new Automation Lanes in the Sequence Editor. Previously, all the data was superimposed, and that was okay, and still is okay for certain situations. But there are times when it's better to be able to see that stuff separately and the new lanes are fantastic because we can see and edit and interact with that stuff separately. So that I really love. Automation lanes are a, are a really powerful addition to DP9 because they just enable me to see all of my data at the same time. So I can be viewing my waveform, my volume, my pan, my plugin automation. So I can really have a lot more control, visual control over what I'm working on. Whether you're starting a new project or you're in the middle of an existing one, you can use Create Tracks to quickly add any combination of MIDI, audio, or virtual instrument tracks with just a few clicks. The new Create Tracks feature in DP9 is a great way to create multiple types of tracks. So when you wanted overall thoughts or ideas or important information about mixing that you're doing or different settings that you need to describe, Project Notes is a great addition. Project Notepad in DP9 is something very indispensable. It allows me to keep track of everything on a Q-by-Q -Q basis. Ciao a tutti da Vicio, in questo video vi faccio sentire cosa può fare il Digital Performer per la vostra chitarra. <musica> 